twice a year in January and July. We see a lot of prescription drug prices go up. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne shares some savings tips if you can't or don't want to switch your medication. So far, costs of more than 650 medications went up. That number could continue to climb. If you're shocked by that, drug manufacturers do it every year. In fact, last January, prices of more than 800 medications went up. It hurts those without insurance and even those with it. Healthcare company GoodRx reports the price hikes on average are anywhere from about 5 to 10 percent. Unfortunately, there's no rhyme or reason as to why other than medications just continue to get more expensive. Director of research with GoodRx, Tori Marsh, says most of the medications on the long list are brand name drugs like Qnasal for allergies, Eliquis for preventing strokes, painkiller Oxycontin and drugs for cancer patients like Camptosar and Ibrantz. Many are specialty drugs and already come with a high price tag for those without health insurance. For example, Drugs.com reports the cash price for eye brands can be up to $13,500 for a supply of 21 capsules. That's with an online coupon. While few people are taking them, are um, you know those who are are really getting hit with high price hikes. To save, Tori Marsh says first see if there's a generic option for your medication. Also, patients need to shop around since drug costs can vary from pharmacy to pharmacy. Websites like GoodRx and Blink Health can help you find discounts. And so can using a manufacturer's coupon for your prescription. Some drug makers offer those. Another option to save is to see if you qualify for patient assistance programs. If you're approved, it can help you get your medication for little or no cost at all. If you have health insurance, remember your deductible resets in January. So getting the cost of your prescription covered like you want may not be an option. To see if the price of your medication went up, search for this story on our homepage. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.